Hello, welcome back to the Board Book Geek. So I'm reviewing two books today. So The Last Sun and The Hanged Man, which is book one and two of the Tarot Sequence by K.D. Edwards. So before we go into this, I want to say you can get a free novella called The Sunken Mall um, from him. There's a link to his Google Drive and his bio and on Goodreads. So if you guys want to read it, go for it. And I'm going to focus on book one first, then I'll do book two. So here we go. Book one, The Last Son, follows Rune. He is the, uh, the last son of the Fallen Sun Court. And he is hired to search for Lady Judgment's missing son, Adam, on New Atlantis, an island where the Atlanteans moved after ordinary humans destroyed their original home with his companion and bodyguard. So, let's talk about book one. This book is a fantasy book in, in the most literal sense, but it's very modern fantasy. It's definitely the up there with, like... How can I put this? It's more of a urban fantasy in a fantasy setting, and that's a compliment. It's written in very, very blunt and honest terms. The structure is fantastic. It's quotable. It's funny. The characters are well built. The world building, which you need in fantasy, if the world building isn't very good, it kind of ends up becoming kind of generic and you can't get into it. You need the world building. And I'm going to give you guys a quote. It's a cock ring. Bran told Matthias. God damn it, I said. It's a great little book. It's really enjoyable. It's not too long either. And I have to say, um, I, I'm rarely, um, uh, how can I put this? It, it's just hilarious. It's fun. And it's that's what it needs. It's not going to be like Lord of the Rings or an epic big fantasy or Nevernight in that sense. This is purely fun. And I do love the fact that the main characters are basically just a pair of dude bros dealing with everything that's going on around them. It's just, I mean, it's such a treat, and it's really nice to listen to this. It's just fun. It was a leap of faith to get me them. So they're kind of an urban fantasy, historical fiction, alternative history, kitchen sink fantasy drama thing. And you do have to take some time to get used to it. It can be a little overwhelming. But once you're in the world, once you're reading it, you will just let go and enjoy it for the ride it is. So that is book one, The Last Sun. So here we go, The Hanged Man, book two of the tarot sequence. And you know what? Doesn't disappoint. The last member of the murdered house tries to protect his wand from forced marriage to a monster while uncovering clues to his own past. The tarot sequence series imagines a modern day Atlantis off of the coast of Massachusetts governed by a powerful cult based on traditional tarot deck. You have the same character as always, Rune, the last child of the of the sun of the fallen sun throne. And you have, again, these great characters, this kind of urban fantasy hybrid thing, that you do have to suspend a little disbelief with these. But you know what? This one gets really surreal and and I mean that, like, this one steps up the game. Book two is a vast improvement of book one. And you, like, you have to brace yourself, especially in that last bit, where you just, literally, I can't put it, I couldn't put it down. I binged them, I listened to them in audiobooks, and I just played them back to back. They're great, see, it's a great sequel. And the fact that you know these characters and have seen what they've done is just brilliant like you have how do I put, it's very difficult to put into words because this is something I've never quite read anything like this in that sense it's fantasy but it's also urban fantasy and it's also a bit of a thriller and it's a really satisfying follow-up it proves that the writer is just strong and good at what he does and I think I've wanted to talk about these books for so long that I've kind of put it off but when it comes down to it, it's unusual to find a series like this that just keeps you enthralled. It's just 
when you find a great series that's fun, enjoyable, that takes you on this ride, that is pure adventure, you can switch your brain off and go with it, then you just fall in love with it. So, have you guys read the tarot sequence? What did you think? Tell me in the comments below, as always. Please like and subscribe if you are new here. And I've noticed a lot of new people, so hello. Um, I do videos every Thursday, Saturday, and Monday. So, there we go, guys. I will talk to you later. And keep tuned for the Cancelled Readathon. Bye.